boring. Well, they didn't. You they, get to do this every day? It was a surprise. They didn't know you were here, oh, so they're yeah. thrilled. They're thrilled. The lamentations of the women. Thank you. <laughs> I am so happy to meet you, and I know you don't do this a lot. So people, there's like a mystery around you. You're not, you don't do these things a lot. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of like a groundhog. I only come yeah. out like, yeah, it's like once a year. Instead yeah. of seeing my shadow, I see you. Oh well, that's. <laughs> I'm so flattered I know, okay. that you came out to see me. Well, thank you. That's great. So uh, do people? Because you do really look exactly alike. You look like you're still like four years old. Uh, yeah. How, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, how can a person look too much like himself? Yeah. But, you know, yeah. It's a curse and a blessing. Like, it, yeah, yeah. the same face. Is it? I mean, do people... Oh. Oh. <laughs> so people, rec like, always recognize you. Yeah, again, it's kind of a curse and a blessing. You right. Know. Uh, you know, I can get to any restaurant I want without a reservation, but while I'm there, everyone's staring at me. Right. Know? And all going, oh, Yeah, like, like the that. Because like <laughs> you do. You seem still, like, very young. Oh. Do you, when you think of all those movies, when you think of Home Alone, I mean, do you remember all of it, or is it just has been shown so much that you think you remember it? Um, I mean, yes and no. Uh, um, uh, I don't really watch them all that m often. Uh -huh. like, uh, we did like a 15 year anniversary like DVD commentary and like I realized I hadn't seen it like in like 15 years, you know, whereas Chris Columbus, he'd watch it the night before, like a responsible human being, you know, yeah. Um, yeah, no, it's kind of just kind of, uh, it's background radiation at Christmas time kind of thing and you know, I've had people who want to sit down and watch it with me, which is like both flattering and creepy. Yes, yes. You know, yeah. uh, and like, yeah, I mean, I, when I'm watching it, I'm seeing, like, I'm remembering that day on set, you know, like, oh, how I was, you know, hiding my Pepsi behind the couch or something like that. Yeah. You know, yeah. So you do I remember I can't it. Watch it. I can't watch it the same way other people Yeah, I was going to say, so when it comes on, which it comes on, I'm sure, every Christmas, every Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. it, you, you don't watch it. No, not really. And no. you don't go out of the house during that time. Yes, I you definitely don't. Yeah. It's, it's my season. Yeah. Look, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's, 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 it's <laughs> Macaulay season. Yes, it's Macaulay. It's, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's Macaulay season. So, uh, yeah, I try to go out like less and less around a that time and of year. I would imagine, and this would, if, if I were you, it would drive me insane. Do people come up to you and want you to put do your hands on thing? your face? Yes. yes. Oh my it's, God. What do you say to them? <laughs> He's like, no. no. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> I've already been there, done that already. Right, guys. right. It's like, you know, yeah, I'm 37 now, okay? Yeah. Hey, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just think, I am sure that people want you to do that, and they don't understand that everybody would... Everybody wants me to do it. ...want you to yeah. do that. So you were, um, and I also learned that, and I don't know why I didn't remember this, but you studied by ballet, you were a dancer. Yeah. 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 I was uh, almost a ballet dancer, like, first for a while there. Uh -huh. Like, I'd, like, go off and do, uh, like, Uncle Buck, and then I'd, uh, you know, turn around and go back home uh, to do the Nutcracker on, like, at Lincoln Center. So I did that for a number of years. I was a, yeah, I was a professional ballet dancer. And do oh, you... there I am. Yeah, look at that. That's yeah. amazing. That's very impressive. Yeah. And then, <laughs> do you still dance? Do you still like to dance? Um, I mean, I don't dance like that anymore. Right, yeah, right. <laughs> the outfits don't fit anymore. Uh -huh. um, but, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I like to dance, you know. I like to dance with my lady or whatever, like that kind of stuff. But, you know, I definitely don't do ballet anymore. You don't yeah. study dance or anything? No, no, no. Yeah. Like, my, my feet and my hips appreciate it, you know, so, yeah. yeah. So, um, so you had uh, six brothers and sisters, right? Yeah, I'm third of seven. S seven. Yeah, my mom didn't have a family. She had a litter. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, just, uh, just oodles of Culkins. Yeah. 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 And was that? I mean, what is the memory of that too? Because that was like there was a lot of you in one room. Yeah, we grew up in a one-bedroom apartment in in Manhattan. Yeah. Wow. So it was like yeah, pretty much nine people, seven kids yeah. and two parents. So uh, we lived on top of each other. They were literally yeah. stacking us. Like they were like stacking bunk beds. So yeah, it was you know, it was like sardines. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was a it was a good time. Like we were a close knit family because of that. Like yeah. there's just no such thing as privacy. And, and then you start and then you start working and and you were you know just like huge at, at you know at such a young age for so long, and then you kind of stopped when you were what fourteen? Yeah, about thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, you it just took, you took just... about a decade off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And and so you you stopped and and because you were just tired of it, or do you think you took it for granted because it was so easy? Uh, yeah, I was tired of it, to be honest. Like, I was just, I did, like, 14 movies in six years or something like that. It's it was a lot. Like, it's a lot. Like, yeah, I was away from home a lot. I was away from school. I was just, I, I needed something else. I needed to 
grow and develop as a person. I was looking forward to high school. Like, yeah. I was actually looking forward to going to school. And did you go to high school? Uh, yes, I did. You did? Yeah, I lived the dream. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was it everything that you wanted it to be, or was it like, oh, this isn't so great? Uh, no, no, it was, it, was, it was great to be around people my own age, like, uh, for once. You yeah. Because, yeah, a lot of times, like, I'm working with adults the whole time, so. Right, but was it hard for you to be Macaulay Culkin in high school? Were, did people treat you differently? Um, I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm always treated differently. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, yeah, I mean, wh whether I like it or not. But the same time, like, that's the kind of stuff that you have to figure out, like, especially if you're coming into your own. Like, those are some really formative years. Like, yeah. You know, so, but yeah, it was, it, was, it was the smartest thing I possibly could have done. Was yeah. It's taken, you know, like, that eight years off or whatever. Oh, man, I can't imagine. All right, we, I, I have so many questions for you, and hopefully you have answers. We're going to take a break, right. and uh, we'll talk more with Macaulay after this. Yeah. We're back with Macaulay Culkin. And so um, I, I have questions about, because I think anybody who starts uh, so young in this business, a lot of it really can screw you up in many ways. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, you, you, <laughs> you don't ever see your money again because you start, uh, you know, you start working, and you don't really know how much you're making because your parents have control of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, and you're just a kid. Right, so you don't know. So when you stopped working at, at 14, um, when did you realize then you're, you don't have to work again? At, at what age did you see your money? Um, I didn't see it until I turned 18. Mm -hmm. uh, you had the, I call it the, the slip of paper meeting, where they kind of pretty much put a, like, a number on a piece of paper and like slide it across the table, you know, and then boom, there you go. Like, yeah. So it was, I felt like a... Some kid worked really, really hard, and I inherited all of his money, pretty uh -huh. much. You know, yeah. Uh, I had kind of no real sense, you know, but at the same time, it allows me to uh, treat everything like a hobby, really. Like, I, I, I do nothing for my dinner, like, nowadays. Like, uh -huh. So I can kind of just, I can do all kinds of projects that I want to do, you know, whether it's writing or painting or new website, whatever it is. So, right. Yeah. So you worked all that time, and you, like, you, you act like that you weren't the one who worked that hard, but you're well, the one who worked that hard. There was a weird disconnect. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. So you have this podcast that you're doing. Yes, Bunny and Ears. Bunny Ears. Tell, what's, what is Bunny Ears, and what do you explain that? Oh, uh, gosh. I mean, it, it is uh, me and my buddy, Matt Cohen, and we uh, kind of just talk about things and stuff and stuff. Uh, and we do... Uh, um, uh, sometimes we have guests. Uh, we do a lot of themes. Like it'll just be it'll th be a theme about firsts, like just firsts, like any things or uh, conspiracy theories. Or sometimes we just shoot the breeze. And we've had some really great guests. We've had uh, uh, Seth Green and Breckin Meyer were on together, which was great. That's great. <laughs> All right. So you have so many great experiences. I have uh, these images that I'd like you to look at and just first thought that uh, that crosses your mind. Okay. Uh, My girl, which is 1991. Oh, that's, that's me. <laughs> All right. What's your thought there? Um, uh, oh, I, it was like stupid girl. Look at, yeah. look at <laughs> gotta, really? gotta kiss a girl. Really? Uh, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we we got along very well, but at the same time, it was also like this is too, so embarrassing, you know. But you know, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so. Forge, it, yeah. Now you have your your hobbies because of her. Yes. yes, um, yes. yes. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I agree. All right. And uh, next picture. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, me doing SNL. Uh huh. I was doing a, yeah, I was a Simon. And you remember that? Heck yeah, I do. Wow. What yeah, I, I remember it because I did the whole episode without cue cards. Uh, wow. It was yeah, my, I was it was uh, my father was quite insistent about that, so I had to memorize the whole episode. Everyone uses cue cards on Saturday Night Live. Yeah, well, but you know, not the nine-year-old, I guess. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. All right, the next one. Oh okay, god, that is the most '90s photo I've ever seen. <laughs> Is it, okay, that's me and Doogie and, and Urkel and the Fresh Prince. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can tell by my reaction. I'm just yeah. like, yeah, this, this is so 90s. Yes. Yeah. Now, I, I'm, I'm probably wearing Reebok pumps or something. All right, the next one. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Wow. Look, look, at, look at that gold. Uh-huh. Look, 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 look at me shine. Yeah. I forgot you were in that video. Yeah, me too. Totally forgot. Um, <laughs> and then the next one. Yeah, I'm pretty. <laughs> yeah, that's a party monster. Yeah, yes, party yes. monster. Yeah. Look at that. So you're the ones who saw it. Yeah. Um, and then uh, yeah, one... I, love, I love the outfits. I love the you know the changeovers. Those are great. All right, one more. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Woohoo! That's uh, what I was doing. My uh, band, the Pizza Underground. We took Velvet Underground songs and reworded them to be about pizza. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Take take a bite of the wild slice. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Waiting for the delivery man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was, uh, yeah. Fantastic. Was... One more? Oh, there's one more. Ooh, we got another one. Ah. Hey, there you go. 
They tape the pages closed. Sadly. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Darn it. Yeah. That's not it's, nice. It's not nice. No. Know, yeah. I was, you know, it was exciting, though. Yeah. <laughs> Still had one in my hands. All right. Um, well, I'm so happy that uh, you came on the show. I'm yeah. happy to meet you. Me too. And uh, to learn more about Macaulay's Bunny Ears website and podcast, you can go to our website. We'll be right back. Yeah. Thanks so much for being here. He left a three-week-old baby to be here. So thank you. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. It's, it's actually kind of rough to do that. It's yeah. only three nights away from home, but um, there's, there is an upside to it, which is I can finally complain about how tired I am. Uh-huh. I think when I'm home, if I even just let the words like, oh man, I'm tired, my wife just gives me this like, yeah. like this look that says like, I wake up every 20 minutes to breastfeed. Yeah. How dare you, sir? <laughs> yeah. So now I get to be on TV talking about how tired I am. Yeah. Well, and I got like six hours of sleep last night. Oh, you poor like, thing. Luxurious. Yeah. yeah, it's great. No, thank you for being here because we uh, we've been uh, asking for you to be on. I'm a huge fan, <laughs> and uh, so you've been acting since five. So is so. Macaulay older or younger than you? He's two years older, and we kind of started at the same time. I think. Look at you two. <laughs> oh wow. So so it's a big family, right? So how many siblings do you have? Uh, there are seven of us. Seven. Yeah, and at some at some point, all of us tried the, the acting bit. Um, now it's pretty much just me and Rory. Mac does some stuff sometimes too. Right. So, and does that make you, and this is your first child, right? Yeah. And okay. Yeah, and my mom's first grandchild. And actually, the grandmas are in town um, visiting their first grandchild, and there's sort of this like unspoken competition going on <laughs> about which one is more insane. <laughs> um, my mom like clucks like a chicken. That's kind of just how she talks. She's like, ah, wait, what? Let's go downtown. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> and then, my wife's mother, I call her the interrupting goose because um, she doesn't listen to a word that I say. If I start talking, I'll be like, it goes like this. I'll be like, um, I'm thinking for lunch, uh, we can go to, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and I think she thinks she's saying, huh, or what? But I'm like, if you could just let me get to the end of my sentence, you're like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> She's nuts. She doesn't listen to a word I say. I'll be in the middle of a story. I love that she, I love the idea of her watching this on TV right now, me roasting her. I'll be in the middle of a story and I'm just about to get to the punchline and she'll be like, look, that's my friend, Nina. <laughs> like, uh-huh, this is her apartment. I'm like, does this have to do with my story? Because I was like, really, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well. so, Listen, if you want to stay longer, it sounds like you can. Uh, yeah, I might stretch this out for a week until yeah. yeah, they're... Maybe yeah. you want to stay until they both leave. The crazy bird ladies get out yeah. of the house, yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, so, <laughs> you are... You, I, I have to talk. I don't want to... I, I want to talk to you forever because mm -hmm. I just am a huge fan and your, oh. your character and... Uh, first of all, I have to ask, is it all scripted or do they let you just play with things? It's, I mean, scripted and right. it's very, very well written. So they don't have to let us play around, but they do. They let us just like mess about a bit. But um, yeah. sometimes like my wife will be like, that sounds like you. Is that your line? And I'm like, I don't know anymore. Like, right. I, I don't, the, the line is blurred between Kieran and Roman sometimes that like, I have to shut this piece of my brain off that's going to insult somebody. You know, because Roman just like doesn't, he has no filter? No, it, not at all. And I, I wonder why Roman gets away with that. Because even you're, you've only been slapped once by your father, um, <laughs> yeah, which, was, the show, yeah. which was really uh, like, it, it, it broke my heart because it showed how small you are. Like, yeah. Ro you know, Roman just was crushed by that. Yeah. It, I'm, I'm talking like everybody knows the show because right. everyone should. But explain what the show is. Um, so it's about a family. Um, very rich family. This, uh, the father is self-made and he's run billion dollar industry. He's a media mogul. And basically he's at an age of, he's probably going to retire and which one of his kids is maybe going to take over. Who is in, who's going to be in line? And as you watch the show, you find that none of his kids are equipped to. No. Uh, particularly this guy who just runs his mouth and has no idea how to do his job. Yeah, that's, that's who that character is. It is, uh -huh. the show is so good, it's so fascinating, and especially after the, the, the Sunday night's episode, I don't know where it's going, but it's, it's frightening and, and good. I, don't, I didn't see it. Yeah. So. yeah, I saw it this morning, and I watched it while I was working out, because I knew you were on, because okay. I missed it Sunday night, but I was just, oh, and it's so good. It's oh, so good. thank you so You're much. You're fantastic, uh, I love the show, and um, stay as long as you want so you don't have to go back to the, yeah. the, 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 <laughs> the, the clucking people. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the season finale of Succession. Oh, it's the season finale. Sunday at 9. Of course it is. Yeah. It's all, yes, it's going to be, okay, it's at 9 <laughs> on HBO. We'll be right back. <laughs>